In 20 or 30 or 50 years, if there's anything that people remember about what happened this week in Canada, it might not be the $250 billion that the federal government spent in its budget. It might be the $100 million that BlackBerry founder Mike Lazaridis put down on a new venture capital operation operating out of Waterloo with a very peculiar focus. It will fund only so-called quantum uh, technology. So uh, uh, technology that's built on the latest research into the very nature of the autumn atom, uh, potentially incredibly uh, powerful scanners, uh, uh, code machines, uh, computers that, that, that would um, be able to easily solve problems that are far beyond the grasp of today's computers. This builds on the $200 million worth of money that Lazaridis has put of his own money into the Perimeter Institute and the Institute for Quantum Computing in Waterloo. But while those are designed to uh, do pure research. This new uh, quantum technology fund is uh, designed to produce products that are marketable and that he can make money off of and that, uh, that his investors can make money off of. And as always with Lazaridis, the scale of his involvement is breathtaking. This hundred million dollar quantum technology fund is triple the size of the previous world's largest quantum technology venture capital fund, which was launched only three uh, months ago uh, in California and um, I suspect it's going to grow and he's going to scale it up over time. Uh, he's got the former head, Steve McLean, the former head of the Canadian Space Agency is one of the people working on this thing. Neil Turok, the great astrophysicist who uh, is the director of Perimeter Institute and some really heavy uh, legal and uh, accounting muscle is in this to make sure that it actually works as a commercial operation. The government wants to encourage a more entrepreneurial Canada and they're doing it with all the silly mechanisms that governments usually do. They're going to have an entrepreneurship prize. They're going to have uh, subsidies for venture capital which robs the term of its very meaning. Uh, Mike Lazaridis, as always, is, is not waiting around for government to create a more entrepreneurial Canada. He's putting his own money where his mouth is. And he's not at all phased by the lousy year he had getting kicked off as the head of uh, research in motion. Uh, he's got a plan and he's going to continue to implement the plan. He's one of the most interesting men in Canada.